Hello, my friend. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes, today is February the 14th, 2021. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I guess it was more like three weeks ago, I posted a, a short video talking about um, my New Year's non-resolutions, -res um, a goal that I'm setting for myself this year, and that was to uh, look after my health. Last year, I had set the goal to laugh, L-A-P-H, look after Pat's health, and I got two weeks into that, and then I quit. So today, I'm going to do it again. A little bit of a backstory. Uh, in February of 2018, I started a keto diet, although it turned from keto into a more healthy way of thinking, uh, the low-carb, high-fat. No, the low-carb, healthy fat. I have to get those words right. Low-carb, healthy fat. And it was so successful. I... Um, it was so successful. I lost 56 pounds, but that's not the main thing. That's not why I did it. The reason I did it was to help control my blood sugars, my uh, um, all my blood work to help with my diabetes. I've had diabetes since 2003, and uh, my blood sugars were constantly high. I was on a road to self-destruction over a long period of time. I got something in my eyes, please excuse me. Um, so I did the low carb, healthy fat way of eating following Dr. Jason Fung. It was very successful. My blood sugars were down to normal. My hemoglobin A1C, which is a three month measurement of your blood sugars on average over three months, it was down to below six. And at at its highest, I think it was 10.8 or something. And um, I went on vacations with with that way of eating, and I managed well. And I managed well in my own home and at work. It was just became a way of life. And then I went on another vacation. And this time, it was in September 2019, I went to see my daughter who lives in North Carolina. Uh, and aside, that's the last time I've seen her um, because of COVID. COVID uh, jumped in and has prevented me from seeing her. Anyway, I, um, I went to see her and I went off my diet for some stupid reason. Um, I hate to call it a diet. It is... It is a diet in the fact that, you know, that's what I eat, but it wasn't a diet per se to lose weight. It was just a way of eating, low carb, healthy fat way of eating. My doctor was on board with me. As a matter of fact, actually, my doctor was not on board with me. So I found another doctor who was on board with this way of, of dietary management. And, um, she monitored my blood sugars and my blood work and everything. And um, am I rambling yet? I'm sorry if I am. I'll try and stay focused. She helped me along the way. And uh, I treated her uh, like crap because I went off of that way of eating. And she had been so kind to take me on as a new patient, even though she wasn't accepting new patients. And she took me on. So I am going to go back to my low carb, healthy fat way of eating. It is February the 14th now. And I am going to tomorrow because it's already 10 o'clock at night. So tomorrow I am going to clean out my kitchen of everything that I do not want to eat anymore. It's not that I can't have it. There's nothing that I can't have. But there's a lot of things that are not healthy. And so I'm going to rid my kitchen of all the non-healthy um, invaders in there. And I, uh, um, you know, I went for over a year without eating a slice of bread and over a year without having rice or potatoes. And I managed just 
fine. It was just one day I had a piece of bread and then I had a potato. Then I had rice and, you know, I even went to Southeast Asia, uh, Thailand and Cambodia and didn't eat rice when I was there. It's, it's crazy. So anyway, tomorrow I am ridding my kitchen of all these things and geez, I just got groceries on Saturday and I got rice in my groceries, but I'm going to put them way at the back of the cupboard because like I say, it's not that I can't have this. It's that right now I am choosing not to eat rice or potatoes or grains of any kind, so no bread. And I am going to get my carbohydrates in my vegetables and a small amount of fruits. Did you know that fruits are extremely high in carbohydrates? Anyway, um, that's another thing. Uh, my doctor suggests, uh, you know... It, uh, Okay, let's get back to the doctor's suggestion in a minute. In all the readings that I've done in keto diets and low-carb, healthy-fat diets, etc., uh, they suggest 20 grams of carbohydrates a day. <laughs> 20 grams of carbohydrates is, is absolutely, practically zero carbohydrates. I am still going to drink my milk, and one glass of milk has 12 grams of carbohydrates, so... You know, that's half an, in a day. So my doctor suggests that I stick to the 50 grams. F sometimes I can go up to 100 grams, but 50 grams of carbohydrates a day would be satisfactory for managing my blood sugar and my diabetes. So, okay, I'm rambling now. I'm going to ask anybody who would like to come along on my journey with me to please join me and we can discuss things if you like um i will be videoing a, a little blurb at least three times a week i will do sundays wednesdays and fridays and maybe some days in between i am going to talk about um uh, the doctor that i highly admire who I followed back in 2019. His name is Dr. Jason Fung. He has written two books, maybe more now, I don't know, but at the time he had two books. One was called The Diabetes Code and one was called The Obesity Code. Both books had some similar information in it, but The Diabetes Code went more into uh, uh, the diabetes condition or the disease, I guess it is a chronic disease. Um, I'm a nurse. I have 43 years of nursing experience. I'm, I'm recently retired. I retired in July last year. I thought I knew about diabetes and what it was and what to do and blah, blah, blah. And I had to teach my patients about diabetes, et cetera, et cetera. And I read Dr. Jason Fung's book, it explained diabetes and uh, what it was and how to control it in great, great detail. I, things that I never knew, even after nursing for 43 years, even after teaching my patients about diabetes, there was so much I didn't know. And he puts it in lay languages so you and I can understand it. And... Um, if you're suffering from diabetes and you want to join me on this journey, uh, I strongly advise you invest in the book, The Diabetes Code. If you want to uh, start a low-carb, healthy-fat way of eating uh, just because it's healthy and you want to lose a few pounds, then I would suggest you read The Obesity Code. Both of those books are by Dr. Jason Fung, and both of them I highly recommend. So that's all I'm going to say today. Step number one is tomorrow, February 15th, clean out my kitchen of all the unhealthy food. Are you going to join me? Let me know in the comments below if you want to go on this journey with me. I'm excited. I am excited again to get healthy. You take care. Have a great evening. Love to you all.